Hey everybody, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 And today we're going to talk to you about how to use electrical tape to become a more efficient angler. So in my day job, I have a couple of different responsibilities. I'm responsible for manufacturing, I'm responsible for manufacturing engineering, and I also wear a hat called the Lean Champion. And Lean in manufacturing is all about finding ways to do things more efficiently, to save time. And the typical way that you do this is you eliminate waste. And in, in manufacturing, there's eight wastes that you try and eliminate, and there's, there's different uh, uh, categories of this. Uh, one of them is defects, so you don't want to have defects. Too much inventory is a waste. Too much motion is a waste. Uh, transportation that's unnecessary is a waste. Overproduction is a waste. So if you make too much of, of uh, too much of something that you really don't need that much of, because the time you spend in overproducing can be spent on something that you're producing that that is more needed. Extra processing is another example where you try and make something better than it needs to be for the customer's requirements. So these are all these different wastes and why am I talking about that on one of my on my channel? Well because I found a way to apply that to my fishing to make my fishing more efficient. I don't have a whole lot of time between managing my job, uh, having a family, being married and all these different responsibilities, I have to maximize my time and, and use my time as efficiently as I can. And there's something in manufacturing that's called visual management where you use visual cues, usually by colors, that where a quick glance at something can tell you what the status is or, or what the situation is. And that is what I want to share with you today on Fish Den 365. So recently, here's a great example. Recently I broke this rod. This is my jig rod. You can see I broke it uh, uh, while I was fishing up at Canisius Lake. And they don't, it's a carrot stick. It's an old E21 uh, carrot stick that uh, I don't think it's available anymore. So I decided to replace it with a Dobbins Fury rod. I really like the Dobbins rods. But I have a lot of Dobbins rods and they're all different actions. I have one that's that's set up for frogs. I have a light action one. I, I But this one is meant for my jig fishing. It's meant to replace that orange rod I just showed you. But how do I know when I'm just glancing at all these rods that I'm picking out the right one? And that's where the electrical tape comes in. You can get electrical tape that's colored. Orange was the color of my old rod, so when I look at orange, I, I immediately see that this is the one that was meant to replace that, therefore it's my jig fishing rod. That's one way you can use it. Another thing that I do <coughs> in my fishing, excuse me, is, is I, I use braided line for almost all of my applications, and there's some advantages to that, obviously. Uh, one of them is that braided line lasts a long time. I don't have to replace it every year. What I do instead, is one year I'll put the braid, new braided line on my reel and then after that season is done, after that year is done, I'll reverse it. I'll take it off the reel, reverse the line and put it back on so that the line that was in the bottom is now up on top and I'll use it for another season. And then after that season is done, I'll replace, I'll replace the line. So I get two years out of my braided line. And the way I know when it's time to replace it is the year that I reverse it, I put black tape on my rod handle here and that tells me that this is the last year that this one's on and that that uh, this season now this is the year's over so what I need to do with this is replace that line I'll be taking the braid line off and putting new braid on and this is a quick visual indicator that tells me that if there's no tape on there then I know I have another year to go and I, and I can just reverse the braided line and move forward that way so those are some visual indicators that you can use using electrical tape and the nice thing about electrical tape is that you can get it in a lot of different colors. You just go to the hardware store and you can buy this. Uh, I got this at Home Depot. It's got a number of different colors. Unfortunately, it didn't have orange, but I, could, I did find a separate color for orange because I wanted to make sure that I had orange to, to show me when I wanted to replace that, uh, that rod when I wanted to do my jig fishing. So you might ask, well, why electrical tape? Well, electrical tape has a lot of advantages over other tapes. For example, this tape is rated from 14 degrees Fahrenheit 
all the way up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. That means its properties won't change significantly between 14 degrees, extremely cold, and 176, which you're not going to be living in that environment. So that's why I choose electrical tape. It can handle all those different temperature ranges without falling off the rod or becoming too gummy and sticky. It's easy to apply. It goes on the rod. It goes on wood nice. It goes on cork nice. It goes on graphite and fiberglass nicely. More, just as importantly, it comes off very easily too. It doesn't leave a lot of residue. It doesn't leave any residue really. You can just pull the pull it off, and you're you're good to go when you want to indicate something else for the following year. So that's why I like electrical tape. It seems to have the right properties for me to use my visual management with. I'm sure you can think of other uh, ideas and ways that you can use this uh, tape as well. One way is you can indicate the action of the rod. So I have a number of top water rods. Maybe I use white to indicate that. So it's easy for me to pick the rods out that, that I want. You could use this with tackle as well, right? So maybe you have some different tackle boxes that have different lures in. A color-coded tape might tell you that you have some crankbaits in here or some or jerk baits in this box. The other thing you can do is you can use some type of tape where you just write right on the tape what it is, or you just use a marker to write right on the box. These are all different examples of visual management. Somewhere down the road, I'll take you on a tour of my boathouse that has a lot of my fishing tackle in it and show you how I visually manage what I have there so I know what to get and, and how to become quicker at getting the things that I need before I make a fishing trip. I think I did a video on that quite some time ago, but I should probably do one again since I've made some improvements. So that's the one that we'll have coming in the future. Well, if you found the video helpful, hit the like button. You don't have to smash it, just hit it, just uh, hit that button. Now, I don't know why everyone has to smash a like button, but uh, I guess that uh, generates some excitement. But I would appreciate it if you give me a like if you thought the video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Look forward to getting out on the water. Hope to see you out there. Be safe, and as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.